we'll come to Sony Pulse, Asia Pulse webinar. This is Thomas in Sony Hong Kong. Uh, I'm Sony Switch Marketing Manager for Sony Asia Pacific region. I'm glad to talk about our XPSG one with you today and also the online demo. So let us get started. Here are the top features of XPS G1 switcher. So just a recap, not only is based on the next generation platform, it also brings you high reliability, performance, and flexibility uh, with no compromises in performance and also the speed. The real-time processing and ultra-low latency in this hybrid design concept switcher. So the most interesting point is the GPU software technology concept that we have already uh, introduced to the market. With the GPU option, you can enjoy built-in media player, additional software, four-layer keyers, EME, multi-view enhancements. So just like the picture shows on the right, uh, later you will see the whole new uh, GUI design. And uh, future, you will also enjoy the multi-view enhancement features. Of course, besides optional GPU functions, just recap some basic specification of G1. Remember, it starts with 2ME in HD or 4K. You can configure it to 4ME. It's a free configuration. 24 inputs and 12 outputs on the standard 12 GSDI I.O. connectors. 12 GSDI connectors on the, inter in, on the standard interfaces which means it supports also 24 inputs, 12 outputs for 4K mode. In 4K, you can also configure it to 2ME or combine it as a 1ME operation. So picture here shows the real look of G1 processor. Uh, all these I.O. for the standard uh, interfaces are 12 GSDI. So in 4K mode, 24 inputs and 12 outputs actually is quite enough for a standard uh, 4K production. It's quite enough for 24 input 4K signals. So it's even bigger than a lot of the 4K production. G1 also provides all input for frame sync. Remember all input for frame sync function, no matter it's 24 input or 36 input. And 24 input for format conversion in HD mode, 12 input in 4K mode. And brand new uh, media clip player design and also frame memory features are the standard. HDR converging capability and also multi view function. And you will notice the power supply unit is redundant uh, design. Also, in the physical panel, it also supports redundant power supply unit. Okay, just here, uh, just a, a quick summary of G1's specification. So, the chart here shows the consolidation of the G1 spec in HD and in 4K mode. The input, output, options, 24, 12 outputs as a standard in HD or in 4K. And we configuration freely design. Uh, and also you can have standard 16 2.5D resizer keyer functionality in HD mode. And 4K, all four keyers are full function resizer and also uh, keyer uh, comma keying functionality are all supported. So we would like to emphasize it again that G1 is an affordable compact XVS switcher uh, below 6,000 XVS 6,000 price range, and um, powerful system resource for keyers, ME, and frame memory. If they have 16 channel frame memory, XVS although XVS has 20 channel, but in 4K, G1 has six channel, four four channel uh, frame memory. Uh, capability. Uh, if you include the GPU function and SLK keyer function, you can have more than 16 keyers in each ME. Plus, there is the clip transition key in each ME, so you can enjoy a lot of keyer functionality. So, large number I/O and the keyer capacity. So, there's not any other 4K switcher with this size can support this many of the functionality and uh, input, output, and those features. So, uh, remember, G1 is a future proof investment, such as uh, expandable system, more integration ability, 
also HDR production are also available. Um, not to mention 4K production is a standard uh, features as well. So this is the short version summary of our new product G1. So let us move on to the actual live demonstration of XBS G1. This is also the very first time for us to show you the actual demo machine in our region. Pretty excited. So let us utilize G1's web menu to show you on the screen. And I have already converted the PGM output video into my PC. So let's take a look at the machine. First, let me switch the share screen. Okay, let me explain a little bit about my arrangement regarding the demo. So you can see right here. Uh, yeah, this is the video, that's me. Okay, let me... I uh, introduce myself, I'm Thomas Chen from Sony Hong Kong. I'm going to conduct a G1 physical demo unit demo for you. Hopefully it can bring you more clear idea about our G1 operation. Okay, so this is our demo arrangement. This is the 16 button cross point control panel of G1. And in front of me, you can see a touch screen panel this is a touch screen panel. Basically, you can uh, select every functions. And on the top right hand side is the video input I kept uh, we used to uh, capture the uh, live videos. And on the bottom right hand side, you can see this is actually the switcher output video. I already converted the output video to computer USB input. So I can take this USB camera input uh, in the computer to show you the demo, actual demo status of the switcher. So it's very convenient when you need to do training or you need to do uh, online demo, especially for this kind of event. I'm introducing the G1's feature over the internet. I think it would be very beneficial for the uh, session. Uh, okay, so let me start by introducing the G1's uh, hardware specification. I also have another camera angle. So you can see this is my demo arrangement. You can see this is the panel. This is the uh, touch panel. You can also see the video input. On top of that is the uh, camera uh, PGN output. On the right hand side is the G1's processor. Let's take a look at the processor. Okay, G1 processor uh, has a special LED lights right over here. Also, we have electrical paper, electric paper, to do some external uh, processor setting and some other LED lights. And you can, uh, let me draw your attention to this tablet over here. Because G1 offers a web GUI uh, menu login. So I'm using a tablet to control the GUI. So we can see all the frame memory clips or frame memory pictures just right on the tablet. Well, if you're using a better or more latest G, um, tablet models, you can run faster. I'm using the kind of old one, but just to show you the idea that G1's uh, web menu can run synchronously, uh, simultaneously, simultaneously with your PC web GUI, just like on the left hand side of the screen over here. So you can, you can even see two operations will not affect each other. Uh, once I choose any settings here on the left hand side, it doesn't change at all. Or you can log in from your web GUI. Just type in the IP address to log in. So it will let you choose your uh, login panels and uh, you can open up to 16 pages for you to uh, log in. Okay. So this is the processor. And then let's look at the module one by one. Uh, cross point buttons. So this is the cross point buttons. Cross point buttons basically also same as four rows as other ICP uh, X7000 panel or even MBS uh, ICP panels. But there's something different is that uh, we let you choose back to key uh, delegation mode, key one, key two, key three, or you can change back to key uh, bus mode if you're used to uh, XVS 7000, 6000 series operation style. On the right hand side, uh, we don't offer the uh, cross point uh, path LCD, LCD customizable LCD anymore. Uh, it's a dedicated buttons. Of course, these dedicated buttons, uh, including main, sub, macro attach, macro hold, 
and uh, if display mode you can also see different display mode with the macro attach uh, on it so it's very convenient for you to see of course you can change the button settings in your web GUI menu to your dedicated menu you can switch the functions over here so this is a cross point button panel of course we offer different colors for the uh, cross point buttons and flexi pad models flexi pack models will be uh, let me go up a little bit flexi models will be similar uh, will actually is the same as our uh, other ICP panels you can see the macros here let me zoom out a little bit uh, the macros over here and the snapshot and wipe key and uh, if you want to do some macro edit, edit just directly control and asset you can store uh, this is the operation for our flexi pay mod module and next one uh, triple module triple module is exactly the same as our uh, other icp panels uh, from pp to me1 me2 we all offer a resizers and also resizer on and off if you can see pp's channel key one key two key three if it's resizer on and clear work buffers xyz access location change or rotation can also be changed over here this is triple module it's very legacy sony uh, control style and shop box module a little bit different from our um, icp 7000 series because we don't have Shopbox module and 10 key pair modules on this XVS G1 panel. So we combine them together with Shopbox and other uh, re uh, storage setting for each bank or each Shopbox. So it can be set up over here. So this is the Shopbox module and uh, other G1 panel. Um, so two ME panels with 16 cross point buttons and this is the transition modules for ME1, transition module for the PP. Okay, a transition module I have introduced. So let me enlarge it. So you can see the transition module here. We also offer a key, A keys functions, next key function and a frame member click functions and auto transition functions. And also on the right hand side, we used to have auto transition and the key on buttons on uh, the transition modules but however g1 has smaller uh, control panel limitation size limitation that's why we only offer one button right here although it says key one transition uh, functions over here you can change it to key on button or key off button so for example right now uh, i can have the key one on or key one off uh, key key eight on and off and key seven on and off so, or you can choose your P17 and uh, use transition modules to auto transition to your effect. So this is how it works. I already changed it to key on buttons. Okay, so this is the cross point buttons. So basically this is a simple introduction for you to understand the G1's panel operation and the buttons on it. Okay, now let's move on to our web GUI. So um, let me enlarge the web GUI. So the web GUI contains several uh, different big category on the left hand side. Uh, this is the home, home button. And uh, on top of it is the IP address and some file path. And then on the right hand side, you can see the three dots here. It's also a system configuration and system shutdown and reboot buttons. Let's move on to the system configuration first. System configuration contains the system information, aux remote uh, panel information, system controller information, and the network information. If you need to change the IP address or set up a layer three gateway, default gateway or IP address will be here to set up. Okay, so let's detail network settings. Of course, day and time, virtual information, and also license information this demo unit has already installed all the optional license including automation hdr sok licenses and 3d dme as well and user account also can be set up over here so these are the basic uh, system configuration list 
on the GUI menu. So let's move back to the home page. So the home page right over here, you can see file, content, MU1, PP is very uh, clear and easy to understand which function you need to choose or you, which page you want to log in, want to log in right away. So like I said, you can open up to 16 web GUI and it doesn't affect each other. This is easy for multi-SS or easy for multi-user uh, operation. Well, for the file part, of course, it contains all the file uh, storage and uh, uh, file uh, every settings. You can just, just the, the operation is similar, so I don't go to details. And the content part, it's, uh, if you are a legacy Sony up a switcher users, you will find it very different that uh, uh, we don't have this content uh, page before, but now we open a new, con new design for the content page. Basically, the content page combines all the clips for your clip player or your frame memory or your frame memory clips. And you can see each clip's properties on the right-hand side or a thumbnail view or a detail uh, uh, file list view, and uh, list the property that you can uh, check each file's information, each uh, picture's information or clip's information. Combine or separate operation and import export. Well, the import export is just very intuitive. Once you add, uh, you, you, you click the button, you will jump out the file manager on the Windows um, OS operation system or uh, Apple, uh, but, um, you can just directly import your uh, framework pictures and clips from your file manager uh, dialog box. And then after you import it, you can upload to your, when you browse it, you can choose how many you want to copy, you want to delete the directly. You can even change the name, edit the properties uh, with your uh, keyboards on, on, uh, on the computer. So this is the frame memory portion. And M1 also, I mean, PP, we all have eight years capability. You can see M1 resizer function can all be turned on. Every keyer has resizer function. And PP, same as ME1, we all have 16 standard 2.5D resizer comma key functionality for each keyers. And you will see there's another clip transition page right over here. The transition page will not consume the original keyer uh, quantity or keyer resources. Uh, for example, let me do a little demo for the key arrangement. So you can see right now, if I turn on eight keys right now, it's already eight keys already key on. You can see right over here. And then I can turn on another frame memory clips to make a nice transition right over here. Or maybe this one will be easier to understand. I the next key for eight keys, and then one more clip transition key, uh, let me enlarge it a little bit. So we can see eight keys already for next key on, and uh, another frame memory clip transition key can be choose. And then so when you choose the transition, you can show a nine key effect right over here. So I think it will be very useful for your uh, production. Right over here, you can see another different frame memory clips. Okay, so this is why G1 has a very powerful here resources that we explain in the PowerPoint because of the uh, additional clip transition key. Of course, you can set up the different key uh, priority right over here, just like this. It's very intuitive and just choose whatever you want to uh, set up. And frame memory portion, also you can see a lot, you see a very uh, new design for the our Sony frame memory because you can see a larger icon for, uh, for the key and uh, group mode or output lock. Or if it's not group mode, you can also uh, uncheck over here. So I think the larger icon can help you to see the channels easier or to do the settings easier. Of course, you can jump into the channel side to look at all the 16 channel at the same time. Of course, you can browse the memory and on the upper hand side, you can see the 
remaining capacity, there are 188 gigabit free. And then if you want to load and save, just check your box and load and save or edit the uh, properties. It's very intuitive, very convenient to use. And then you can see there is a clip over here. Uh, if you want to you want to change the speed, uh, this is the clip right over here. This frame memory seven. You can see my frame memory seven. Okay, let me. Okay, frame memory seven clips, and I can because this is a sequence file, and of course I can stop it, and I can play it, and it's a big button. I think it's very easy to control. Or if I want to change the speed right over here. You will see, you will be able to see my operation right over here. So you will jump out a dialog box and I can change the speed with two fingers. It goes very fast, right? 120 or go down to zero. Or one finger, the speed can change slowly. Two finger will be faster. So it depends on your operation. You can set up different kind of setting, or just input the numbers right over here. Would be also very easy. It says that you can use operation guide for fine tune or rough tune, with one finger or two fingers. This is back to default. Default is zero. So let me play back again. Okay, so also you can set the loop or playback right over here. Looping or a ping pong -y effect. This is our frame memory uh, detail settings. I think it's very uh, intuitive and also uh, very easy to understand. And click players over here. Click players, we have four channel in HD and uh, you can see our clips right over here. And once you upload to the channels, you can play back. External devices for GPI, uh, Tali, the sections are set up, uh, the setups are up here. Back, color backgrounds and aux box. We have total up to 48 aux box output you can select. And the aux mix, we, of course, we also support for each aux output. Okay, aux mix. And the utility part for the copy and setting for each key and each ME or each effect it can also be copy. Transition rate are set up over here. Register portion contains different kind of effects, including snap shop, key snap shop, and white snap shop, or shop box and macro. For example, uh, you can see my macro over here. Uh, I have already set up different macros here. So for example, the macro A, uh, this is macro A. Let me choose the buttons for the, um, maybe, I show you the G1's panel, and this is the macro part. Okay, you can see macro portion. Uh, I already set up macro. Macro to macro A is A key. A key macro. The name is A key. I want to change it to, I just directly, I can change. I did the macro, and now you can directly change right over here. Or if you want to, uh, jump out. This is the macro portion. And if I want to change the name, I can directly change to maybe a another name, um, maybe here A effect. Once I change here A effect, you can see the buttons here directly change be change here A effect. And I'm using the wireless panel, wireless uh, keyboard to control the PC and the mouse to control. Or of course you can use your fingers, multi finger to enlarge it and to uh, change the size. This is for tablet use. So WebGUI has this advantage to that users to easily operate the switcher just like their normal uh, computer use. Okay, so uh, this is the register part for the macro and the change and setup portion. You can see our setup portion including the frame memory resume, which means that the frame memory will automatically be loaded to your SSD in the processor. You don't need to manually load it every time you turn on the machine. 
So it's very convenient feature for click players, SLK and frame memory channel uh, auto uploading feature. We call it resume. And of course, format portion. Uh, see, our format supports from HD to 4K. And as, um, HDR, SDR format as well. If you purchase HDR uh, conversion license, you will support from SDR to HDR, including SLOG3, PQ, HOG, uh, OETF, and also uh, Ultra HD color space, PT2020. And because Sony focused on the HDR conversion quality uh, very detailedly, that's why we provide more HDR conversion uh, parameters, including air matching and detail black level SDR, this kind of settings are, I think it's only Sony can provide these kind of settings. Yeah, and the input output, uh, all the input support uh, friend synchronizing function and friend delay function as well. And output portion, you can uh, select from over here. And uh, SDI output can also be set up. Well, I don't go to detail, just let you understand some uh, of the operation concept of XVS G1. I think there are some special portion, I think you can see uh, table button assign, the ship mode, and uh, source net colors. These are some easy, basic, specific, uh, basic uh, configuration portion. And if you want to do some, of course, multi-view. Multi-view here, you can see two multi-views. You can set up audio level meters if you purchase the GPU option and uh, different uh, input output and a split mode and uh, panel part if you want to set up the cross point modules and I think the modules you can is uh, you can just type in the modules and change the control buttons features one by one if you want to have uh, different uh, functions for example this frame memory 3 4 originally it's another feature uh, on the default buttons you can see maybe here cross point Buttons, uh, it's originally it's a preset color mix. I already changed it to frame memory two and frame memory three for clips. So that's how you change the buttons layout. And um, configuration and the modules, and of course, um, like I said, key bus mode and key delegation mode or free assign mode on the road mode for PP or ME buses. Uh, router settings. So these are the basic uh, introduction for our G1. So you can see the operation style is quite intuitive and hopefully it can let you or let your team uh, to operate the G1 uh, quickly or learn the G1 even faster. Okay, so uh, if there's any uh, chance, we hope that we can do some more demo for you and also introduce G1's uh, more detailed features for uh, A-Cure, SLK, uh, SLK Cure functions or and uh, other advanced features in the future, okay? So this is the uh, simple introduction for our physical demo of Exhibit G1. So thank you for joining our webinar today and we would like to uh, discuss with you more if you have more interest on our XPS G1. Thank you. Bye-bye.